Hey guys, it's me, Christina Marie. We are talking about a $58 lipstick. Yes, I said that. $58 by Tom Ford. Check it out. Would you pay $58 for one lipstick? I guess there are some that will. Okay, what's mind-blowing about this lipstick, let me just tell you, is that if you read the description, it is a moisturizing lip stain that turns into a pinkish color. Okay, uh, hello. Well, let me just tell you, I found a dupe. That's $3.99. Yes, you can get this at Ulta.com. I will post the link down below. $3.99. I'm sorry, guys, but I am not that person that's going to go out and pay $58 for one lipstick that is a lip stain. I mean, these have been around since I was a child, right? And for some reason, they've become more popular. And I thought I would just go buy a dupe for you guys. This is by Essence, by the way. Essence Glimmer Glow Lipstick, right? It says color changing. Let me just show you how flipping beautiful this lipstick looks, okay? And I know that the camera is not going to give it justice because you it is so crystal clear with all of these iridescent sparkles in it. Maybe you can see it better far away, but we can just look at this like absolutely absolutely beautiful. And when you put it on, it has a tint. It leaves you a little bit of glitter, which is interesting because when you actually look at it, it doesn't look like it has glitter. But I guess that these little iridescent sparkles or flakes, uh, flakes, um, kind of rub off, giving you like a little bit of a glitter. The reason I don't have my makeup all done today is because these lipsticks were typically known for... Um, well, at least back in the day, people who wore these lipsticks uh, had more of a natural look. They didn't want their makeup coming off. They, well, back in the day, you never saw people like full face makeup wearing a mood changing lipstick. You usually saw something more natural. So I actually thought that I would put this on as a lipstick and a blush for you guys. I'm going to do it on my face, on half of my face with no products except my moisturizers. Um, and then I'm going to put this lip tint, lip tint, tint no, no face, <laughs> tinted face oil on the other half of my face. You guys know uh, face oils, tinted face oils, or tinted mo face moisturizers uh, make your skin look so much more natural. So let's go ahead and just dive in. I'm actually going to do just one lip so we can see, like, is it a really super big difference? And then we're going to dive in and put it on the face. So, okay. Oh, you know what, guys? Let me put this on first, half of my face, and then we'll put it on because I forgot, like, I don't want, I just want, I don't want my makeup to look all funny. So this um, is by whatever that brand is, uh, Kosas, Kosas, um, in the color 3.5 tone. So I don't know what this looks like. Shake it up. Drop, 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 drop. Okay. We are dropping some drops of oil on our hand. So I'm going to put it on this part of my face really quick and then we're going to see what it looks like on top of a tinted oil. That's nice. Wow. Tinted oils are supposed to make your skin look very natural. Wow, that's nice. But FYI guys, if you use a, uh, face oil, you have to, you must wear a sunscreen underneath. Because you don't want your skin to burn. It's obviously it's oil. It has a weird, like, I don't know, to me it smells like a furniture polish or something. But really, like, what foundation smells good? I don't know. I've never come across a foundation that smells good. You guys let me know if you know of a foundation that actually smells decent. Very, very nice. Okay, so let's do the top lip and not the bottom lip. So you guys can see beauty, beauty and lipstick. <laughs> Like, you can see the little sparkles already in, on the lip. You see that?
There you go. Bare lip. Just leave it alone. We're going to put it on the cheek now. So I think I'm just going to rub it on the cheek and then work it out into your face moisturizer. Ooh, that went really pink, didn't it? That went like very natural pink. See how it kind of just like melts into the skin? Okay, let me get a mirror for this side. Wow, you see the pink right away, don't you? Look at that. And then I'm gonna just work it into this face oil. Go back. Huh. Let's give it a second because it's supposed to take a second to kind of like warm up on your skin. The lipstick looks so cool because it's not like something that you see where somebody has an even coat of like glitter. These are glitter flakes. So they're all shaped differently. And if you look, you see like, let me zoom you guys really close so you can see close up while it's warming up and you know what i'm freaking cold it is very cold this morning so maybe um at least my experience in the past where i've used these in the past is that if your body temperature is warmer if you're hot then it's going to be more of a brighter pink and if you're not as hot and you're cold like i'm freezing right now it's going to be more of a subtle pink but let's go ahead and zoom in okay so i have you guys zoomed in I actually think because it's a brand, it's a brand new lipstick that I'd have to put it on a little bit more because I find that this side looks more pink than this side. I think I have to put it on a little bit more. I'm going to lift up my lip though so you guys can see what I was talking about. You see, look. Like, they're little flakes. And it's nice that you catch attention here, you catch attention there. See, look at that. It's so cool so so cool but look at the cheek so i actually just have i don't know just a hint of color there let's go ahead and try it again in the cheek and i think maybe i should have just like warmed it up and be and wiped off a little bit of the top okay just in case there's like any coat there to protect it okay here we go very very smooth it glides on like a very hydrating. Okay, I'm gonna do up close right here. You can see, look at that, it's so pretty. Ooh, guys, I put way too much. Oh wow, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna push you back in a second shoot it looks fine up close like this but i put way too much you'll see from a distance how how bright it is and over here we have just a slight bit of pink so let's go ahead and try a little bit more yeah you know what so make sure that you just rub off that top layer or rub it down a little bit for it to activate more Okay, I'm gonna pull you guys out so you can see from a distance. Okay, so interesting. I'm looking close up at my lip now. And since we rubbed it, we took off, you know, we kind of rubbed it into the skin to make sure that we get that top coat off. Now, my lip, even though I have some chunks, it's kind of like the glitter or the flakes. Yeah, the iridescent flakes evenly distribute. See, it's a... And when you do that, interesting that you don't feel any of those flakes. It's not scratching. It's not anything. It's almost like it's a foiled um, iridescent glitter-like material that melts onto the skin, into the skin when it touches the skin because I'm not scratching at all. But this is what I was talking about. I, put, I think I put a little bit too much. But actually, when I'm looking at it now, grab my mirror no you see how natural that looks it looks super natural it looks like i just have like flushed like i'm flushed in the cheek the lipstick looks really really pretty and then when you put it on top of an oil 
or a tinted uh, foundation, tinted face oil, which that's what this is. <laughs> it looks a very natural and it gives you like a light, light pink. But if I close my lips, look at the difference. It's a beautiful color. So now let's go ahead and put it on the whole lip. Like, honestly, guys, it's not over moisturizing. And you can see how it just glides. It almost feels like I'm putting like a, uh, not a chapstick, but the Vaseline. It feels like I'm putting like a Vaseline on my lip that's not too thick. When I say Vaseline, I mean this. I mean the... Vaseline Lip Therapy, deeply moisturizing to protect chapped dry lips. This, that's how it feels on the lip. So this here, you can see it comes out. It's just like a, a petroleum jelly. Maybe they added some other ingredients because it's not as thick. But if you ever use this, that is exactly what this feels like. Ooh, and why is my bottom lip turning so much more pink? Do we see that? So let's smash them together. Maybe because I'm warming up because I turned on the heater. Big possibility. Mm -hmm. So that tells you right there that if your body temperature warms up, it's more, it's going to be more pink. Even my cheek looks like it got more pink. Anyways, I think it's a really, really cool, awesome product. The fact that it stains. So here we put it on the hand. My hands, my back of my hand is very cold. Let's wipe it away. You can see it's a stain. Yeah. Maybe it's not like a super powerful stain, but you can still see that from there. This red, this pinky. So what do you guys think? Do you think it's worth it? I honestly won't pay $58 for a lipstick. I mean, yeah, yeah, like... I get it. Like some people are like, oh, I, I need that super expensive, luxurious Tom Ford lipstick and no bashing on Tom Ford because we all know Tom Ford products from what I've seen are absolutely fantastic. Do I buy them? No, I don't. I mean, I think I've had maybe one Tom Ford product in my life because his price range is a tad bit uh, too steep for me. Not for you maybe, but for me it is. So yeah. To find a dupe, I think for $3.99, you can't beat that. And what do you guys think? Do you like it more like on natural skin like this? You can see like my skin naturally has red pigments in it. And this is a brighter. Or do you, what do you think about it on top of like my face, tint oil, my tinted face oil? I think it looks really good on top of the foundation or the oil. Um, you guys let me know which way would you prefer. I'm actually going to see if I, you know what, let's wipe this off together. And put the oil on top so I look like I'm a completed look. You can see it came off right there. And let me put this on top. This, this, uh, tinted face oil. It just makes it look like my skin, honestly. So let's put some on top. And no, it didn't. It completely covered... You can see it completely covered my skin without mixing it. But then again, I did wipe it off. And we're just going to move this around just to get some color. With the oil, with the sh it kind of mixes in with the oil. It gives it that, that shine, that youthful, like I have a, uh, a um, blush a cream blush on look at that i think it's worth it i think you should check it out and 3.99 you're not going to break the bank hey if you want to go pay 58 dollars you know for the other one and review it against this i would encourage you to do it if you are curious whether or not tom ford is superior in this color changing clear lipstick
Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, please hit that thumbs up button, little subscribe button, and the tiny little bell next to it for notifications of new videos. Uh, God bless all of you guys. Thank you for supporting my channel. All the links down below that I ever post support my channel. And I appreciate you guys watching and commenting because I try to comment back to every single one of you guys. I hope that God blesses you. I hope today you find clarity in your path because everybody has a path. God puts a path in front of us and he lets us choose. But sometimes choosing is not the easiest thing, but you know, you know whether that path is right for you and whether you should walk it or not. So I hope you choose right. I hope that God blesses you. You get all the riches, all the joys, all the happinesses in your life that you are looking for. Pray, love him, love yourself and you know, Give yourself daily affirmations. Tell yourself, I'm beautiful. I'm whole. I'm, I'm a masterpiece. God created me to be a masterpiece because I feel that way. And I hope you feel that way too. I love you all. Let's go ahead and just roll on over to the quote of the day. Mwah. I'm Christina Marie. I'm out. Bye. So I thought I would turn on the camera real quick and show you guys like 45 minutes later, my body temperature has warmed up. Look, my cheeks, they look fabulous. Um, but the lipstick, I, I have a habit of doing this and smashing my lips. Obviously, it is much brighter, but I still like it.